What's up, everybody? So we're at the, we're at the uh, Texas Early Days Tractor Club ground, and this is one of their big barns that has a lot of the motors out here. Really, really cool. Motors and engines, both. Steven has not seen it, so I'm gonna let Steven just walk around, and, or tell, have Steven just walk around and show you guys as he sees it. Can I buy that? <laughs> Can I buy that? I'll trade you for a slightly used, non-functioning Ford. What what tractor do I have? Dexter? Yes. Ford's and Dexter. It's perfect. That international harvester for a 20 horsepower. I'm gonna flip the camera around. The lights are moving up too, so. It's a tiny little generator. Probably run your house. Two or three million. Here, I can't, I hate that view. There we go. This is more shaky, but it's raining outside, so that's what the loud noise is, but that's a massive generator. I don't understand that. Why does this spin? It doesn't do anything. It's like a full looking cover. Pretty sure I can spin it by hand. You wanna see? Nope. Got another one. It says Norwalk Ironworks. Compressor. Most of these are compressors. There's a big baby. Are you filming? Yeah, I'll show you how big this one is. Isn't that crazy? I'm six foot three. <laughs> Hold on. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Shark River Machine Shop. What's up, brother? How are you? Can you turn it? <laughs> so there, it's raining right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so this is the president of the uh, club association. He's the guy that's hooking us up with the uh, club association. He's the guy that's hooking us up with the awesome event space. If you guys can even hear me. Wow. Hey, Shark River Machine, didn't you need one of these? Hey, we need to locate a 220 volt to 400 volt three phase transformer. There you go, guys. Where Get is to... American Rotary at? Yeah, we need American Rotary on this one. Awesome. Guys, there's engines behind engines. Oh. Oh. I think I think I want to restore that as well. <laughs> I always wanted to drive that around the show. That'd be fun just to drop it. Yeah. It can. It can run really easily. We can rebuild that motor, no problem. Oh, we have we might have to do that one for the show. That'll be awesome. Oh he Steven, he wanted some help with this one and one down here. What's this one for oh, Got 
Guys, I'm sorry it's so loud. This one right here needs babbit berries. We're going to be firing up this V12. We're going to be firing up the Marion 25. We're going to be firing up all these engines during the show. And all this right here, it opens out. So those walls open. Really cool. Oh, homemade everything's here, guys. He's about to have his meatball sliced. Man, that's crazy. I saw the last video. Steven and I were watching it. It is coming down. Woo! <laughs> Mark, brother, we love you. Hopefully that'll uh, solve that issue. They can get some of that pressure off. This is a steam generator. Really cool. This one as well. This is steam. One cylinder steam engine. Here's another. Lots of steam on this side. And this is the steam engine you saw earlier. Thank you, homie. Appreciate that. So, guys, I want to show you the grounds, but it's raining like crazy out there right now. <laughs> Check out the scale. Under here is a printing press. Really cool printing press. Oh man. Guys, this is one small spot of the 20, 20 ish, uh, sorry, 58 acres out here. Incredible. V12. Got all these engines in here that need work. And I was telling him, it's like I used to be a massive gas compressor mechanic, so I'm used to working on big stuff, but it's been so long that I need to get back into working on big stuff instead of just a little tiny bullcrap stuff. Yeah. That, you, said, you see this one needing the pony engine? There's a couple of things. He said there's uh, something in one of the cylinders. Okay. Because it'll spin 180 and then stop. Ah. I told him I got a boroscope. We can pull the injectors out and boroscope and see if there's anything in the cylinders. Yeah. Good. Good. You actually brought your boroscope. Yeah, to charge it. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it being so loud, guys. It's uh, raining. They do nothing about it. It's facing you. Yeah. Definitely got some cool engines in there. Steven, I was telling them, and I don't know if they can hear, but these open. goes out so these are going to be picked up during the event and so it like makes a nice shady shelter area but then you can watch the engines running really cool it's a beast motor man really cool when we had Porta flywheelers they had a, a similar shed to this and I actually asked one of the guys
So I asked one of the guys when I was there, I walked up and I said, hey, I'm a YouTuber, can I film the engine starting? And one guy's like, yeah, I don't care. So I go behind the little plastic chain and I'm over there with my, my phone like doing this. And I had this old man come up and go, boy, it's not funny. I'm about to get in a fight with an old man. All right, that's fine. But I want to get involved with something like this where I can actually get out and be behind the road and get to start stuff. And... Hey guys, it's super freaking loud. I don't think any of y'all can really hear what I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream and private live stream tonight. So get back on tonight, probably around 8, 9 o'clock. <coughs> and uh, we'll continue it. Thanks for watching.